Hi everyone. Got to have a short video for you this week. Um, I'm going on a week-long trip to Columbus, Ohio for a painting convention and it's four o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning and I'm leaving in four hours and I'm just got now finishing up everything that I needed to do except for my Monday video. So I'm just going to share some couple of things with you real quick. Um, I want to share this card that I made. I really, really like it. I thought it turned out really nice. And to show you how I made it, the uh, I, I used a silver already ready-made card, and I inked around it in black soot distress ink. I took a piece of black cardstock and a stamp that says "Forever" and "For All Eternity." Let me find that stamp set for you real quick. It's from uh, Paper Smooches, and well, this is one that's that's just like it, but that's not the exact one. All right, forgive me for that. It's it's late, <laughs> and uh, can't find everything that I want to find. So anyway, this is a really nice uh, stamp set that I found, and uh, I really like the handwriting on it. So I embossed that with um, silver embossing powder by Ranger. I thought that turned out really nice. And this part right here is um, Tim's uh, Tim Holtz's tabs, and it comes with several shapes of tabs. Comes with all of these. It's quite a bit. Comes. Um, I think it's a retail price of ten dollars. So it's kind of a lot that comes with it. And then you also get the epoxy stickers in the shapes and sizes of the tabs. And then some pictures and some words to use with them. So I used family. So this was a family week for me. I spent a lot of time with my sister um, who lives in Arizona and I live in Indiana. And we attended the Drum Corps International at Lucas Oil Stadium here in Indianapolis. And then I took my grandson to the first Colts game of the, of the year. First one ever without Peyton Manning in 14 years. And it was a good one. Anyway, no, don't let me get distracted on Colts. So what I did was I just folded it over um, and used some adhesive. Because this part that I'm going to show you is thick, then I did have some trouble. And I've kind of got it clamped down like that. And I put uh, some paper flowers on it. Also, I wanted to, to play up the pink and the black. So what I did in order to get uh, this, this part, I used some uh, Ferro by Viva. It's kind of pasty. It's not liquid. It's pasty. And I spread it with a palette knife and a large brush and let it dry. And then, and I used uh, watercolor paper to do it on. It's pretty thick. You might want to just stick with cardstock. And then I put it through this uh, Tim Holtz um, embossing folder and had to take it, send it through and play with my sandwich quite a bit, but it turned out really nice. And then I took uh, black distress ink and I put it on my, on my um, palette and then I took my finger and rubbed it around to uh, emphasize the embossing and then I glued that on there. I think I used um, the red tape. And then on the inside I stamped some stamps from this set and it's, uh, I need to find out where it was from. Um, Allie Edwards Technique Tuesday. There it is. So this is a nice set of stamps. It's got a lot of of real little words and a few big words and so I just kind of made a collage of stamps on there and it turned out to be this really nice card and it's kind of heavy but I like it it's cool and um, then I also had some copper ferro and it's the same pasty pastiness and I spread it around and I haven't done anything with it yet because I kind of ran out of time so maybe that'll be in my next Monday Musing but um, it's real shiny and uh, it's, it's, they're kind of fun to work with 
and this one I put through this is this is uh, steel and this one I put through the rivets Tim Holtz embossing folder I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that but I do have a motorcycle stamp and I have the road trip stamp set so I might do something like that with it so just wanted to show you those things and also next week um, I'll show you how to do something else that I was working on this week and this is a wine bottle and it has a hole drilled in the back and it has, has some Christmas lights inside of it and what I did is I took uh, um, Traditions Faux Finish but you could also use um, decoupage from deco art you could use multi-medium Claudine Helmuth's multi-medium and I put some white tissue paper on here in the decoupage style I, I put my my medium on first and then laid my tissue paper into the wet and then painted back over it with the same medium and then I took some leaves and I used glossy accents to stick them to my um, to my tissue paper but I also used uh, Tim's fall blueprint stamps I don't know if you can see those or not on there too and um, it looks really cool when it's lit up I don't have a um, don't well maybe I don't know let me see if I can get my outlet to reach no it's not quite going to reach so I'll show you that in next week's video but I wanted to, to um, show you what stamps I did use I used Tim Holtz Falling Leaves and there's a lot of stamps in there this part of it came together but I cut mine apart so I could use them separately and then I used Tim Holtz's new fall blueprint stamps I love these stamps and um, so what I did is I put those blue st print stamps all around the bottle and I used um, Momento Rich Cocoa and I also used Archival Sepia ink and so then what I did is I have the um, tattered leaves uh, die and I have these already cut out so I don't have that uh, die out to show it to you but it's the Tim Holtz Alterations Tattered Leaves die and I cut a bunch of them in some fall colors and some greens and, and orange and what I did was I took the black archival ink and these stamps and put them on my block and then I stamped them on the, these leaves and I didn't worry about whether they, they fit just right or not in fact like on this one I used this stamp which doesn't fit it but it makes it a really cool veiny leaf and so I did that on all of these stamps but I not only used um, the archival inks I also used my traditions paint um, several different colors this is sap green and this is pine green and I used um, some quinacridone gold and up there and some uh, transparent yellow iron oxide and I also uh, used uh, some, some spray uh, glimmer mist on my tissue paper I used um, let's see some sugar maple from Glim Glimmer Mist I used the Cappuccino's Perfect Pearls I used some fireworks green inks spray inks and I used a little bit of um, Glimmer Glam Times Square to color my leaves and I used some uh, crackle accents as well on them and uh, just a lot of different things I used a little bit of glossy accents and uh, so that's what I want to show you next week is how to do all of that and yeah this one I've got paint on too and you know I just I did those things and I crumpled them all up and I, I glued them with glossy accents onto the bottle so they look like they're falling all over the place and uh, that was a lot of fun so we're going to do that next week because I've got some more of these leaves cut out so I hope you'll join me then and uh, I'm going to go off and paint for a week with a lot of painting friends and and uh, leave work and everyday stuff behind. So you have a good week and I plan to as well.